Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and I'm going to show you how to create a box plot that can be used to check for outliers. We're going to use Minitab Express for Mac to do it. So what I have here is I have some crime rates um, and I think I have 90 observations and I've simply entered them into a single column. Remember one column per variable in Minitab with the variable name in the first grayed out row. So this is pretty easy on Minitab Express. I'm going to come up to Graphs and you're going to see Box Plot. And so I want to create a box plot. I only have a single variable and I just want a simple box plot. So I'm going to select the simple with a single Y. It's going to ask me which variable I want and I'm simply going to go to Crime Rate and I'm going to double click until it appears here. And then I'm going to hit OK. So when we look at what Minitab has created for us, we'll see that we have our box plot y-axis is labeled. It also creates the summary statistics, which is basically your five number summary, your min, your max, Q1, Q, the, Q2 the median, and Q3 the third quartile. Um, and then it'll actually give you a confidence interval that we don't need to worry about. What you are focused on is the fact that right here, this is the indicator in Minitab that you have an outlier. Remember this is going to be the median of your data set which will give you an indication um, of how skewed or symmetrical the distribution is. The other thing that you can do is remember if you hover your arrow into your box it'll give you your whiskers, your IQR, etc. The other thing that's nice about Minitab Express is what you can do with this. So let's say you were putting this into another document. You hit export and it will export this either as a PDF or as an HTML file. So that wasn't painful at all. As always, I hope you found this useful and thanks so much for watching.